Hello and welcome in this lecture in which I'm going to introduce you to how you can use Dolly 3 to generate 3D ebook mockups. So first off, let me get you to look at some ebook mockups that we've managed to create. This is for a book from my imagination called Galaxies Beyond. And notice the how the mockup looks, looks fabulous. And this, I can tell you from experience, can do extremely fantastic for a Facebook ad, for example, for this type of book. But you can also generate mockups like these that you can sell as stock art, which means you can put them on Canva, they can sell, you can put them on Vecteezy, on other types of websites where people demand such mockups. And even the mockup in the back here, these ones, you can actually sell them. And if you go to canva.com and search for ebook mockup, you'll know what I'm talking about. Because there's many people out there that have put mockups right there. And if you want to use them, they're pro. You have to have the pro membership. And every time you use these and download them, they make a commission. There's also the opportunity to freelance. So there's a lot of people that run ads quite a lot. They give free ebooks in exchange for email addresses. They're doing lead generation. So they, they are very interested in talented people that would create mockups for their books on the spot that they can use to go ahead and to run their advertisements on Facebook, for example, or Instagram, or whatever they're running. So here I have some examples. This is a science fiction 3D ebook mockup. In this case, what I want to do, I want to generate a 3D book mockup of a science fiction ebook titled Galaxies and Beyond. And I'm describing what the cover should be. It should feature an astronaut standing on a distant planet, gazing at a vibrant nebula in the sky. Include futuristic fonts for the title and the author name. The mock-up should present the book standing upright on a reflective surface. I could say the author name is, so I could say the author name is, and I could mention the name. And here I could now copy this and it will immediately go ahead and generate this. So if we go back into Dolly 3, let's start a new chat. Notice what's going to happen right now is some interesting magic. I'm going to place that in, hit the enter button, and it's going to start working. There you go. So this is the ebook mockup. As you can see, it looks fabulous. They try to put my name here, but they actually could not really do it 100% correctly. I could ask it to generate another iteration. So if you don't like this, you can say generate another mockup. I didn't like this one, right? And it will give you another one. And to be honest, these ones are pretty good because you just need them on the spot sometimes to run some advertisements for your book. And let's say that you want to generate a cover, a book cover, a 2D book cover. I'm going to take the same prompt. And instead of saying 3D, I'm going to say 2D mockup uh, or the 3 to the book cover for a book of science fiction titled blah, blah, blah. And then I'm going to hit enter. Let's experiment with this. Now, normally, if you want to generate book covers, you have to go, go to platforms like Fiverr, for example, where there's a lot of freelancers out here that offer such services. And you'll have to go to the search and run, for instance, ebook cover. Now, I used to pay a lot of money. Actually, one time I paid about $35 to get an ebook cover done. And I think I overpriced because now with ChatGPT with $20 per month, I can do crazy stuff. Now, and these are what, what I'm talking about. These are the 3D mockups I'm talking about that people are charging a fortune for uh, because these are needed in advertisements and so on and so forth. And you don't really need right now to pay anyone, right? Because you can just uh, design these yourself, right? You don't need to. Uh, but if you maybe are interested to maybe start a side hustle, start generating book covers for people, then uh, this may be something that you can do. For instance, this guy is pretty pr successful. I mean, uh, charting $80, completed eight, uh, has 8,700 reviews. This guy has at least completed about maybe 20,000 orders, right? In total, just for this particular type of, uh, of, of, of a gig. This guy probably is a Fiverr, more than a Fiverr millionaire. And yeah, so there is potential in everything, to be honest. Just one gig and you take it seriously if you specialize in it. Uh, there's huge potential in it. Now, here, let's see. So this is the 2D. I don't quite like it because it's a 2D design, right? So it's not, uh, I want it to be a front. Uh, but I think that uh, it gives you ideas and you can also be specific as to, you can say, just show 
to cover from Bird's eye angle. Not sure how this is going to go. But generally speaking, this is how you design book mockups. Now, there's another avenue for income, which is generating bland mockups. For instance, I can go and create a custom design of any size. And here on Canva, there's something called the Canva Creator Program. So if you're enrolled in the Canva Creator Program, you can start selling your designs that you create. So not only can you sell them on Etsy, but you can also sell them on Canva, for example. You can sell your stickers on Canva, uh, and you can sell other stuff as well. Now, if I go to Elements, just make sure that you read the terms and conditions of both platforms to know to not conflict. And better off, just create uh, products for different platforms. I'm not create one product, put it in all the platforms, and put it at different prices. Uh, it's not... It's not good. Right? For example, if you put a product for $10 on Etsy and then for $2 on Creative Fabrica and you put it up here on Canva, then you might risk getting your Etsy account closed because they're just going to say, you know, what is this guy doing? He's pricing his product differently from platform to platform. Um, we don't like it. So, and Etsy are really, really quite the, the types that will ban you for any slight mistake that you might make. Now, if you go here and look for ebook, Mockup. Notice that right now they're going to generate some book mockups for us. And if you look, these are what we call ebook mockups. But there's also these other ones, right? Like these that you can just set the image to the background and you can place your book on top of. This is also, you can put the cover on top of the front cover on top of. This is also a way to basically uh, market your books. And you can use ChatGPT to generate such books. Now notice that uh, even after asking it quite a lot of times, uh, to make sure that I, that it does the book in such a way. It still didn't do it. Uh, but I think I have a solution. I can just rotate the book slightly. So let me show you here. So if I copy this image, if we go to Canva, if I go here to the size, I'm going to go probably for, because this is an ebook. So it's a six by nine inches. And I can do a hack. I can show you a live hack here, uh, live. Uh, first of all, let me make sure I copy the image right here. I copy image. And then we have just one more prompt to do, which is not self-help book, uh, cookbook, 3D book mockup. Okay, not that one. But I'm going to show you the type of mockup that I want to show you how to create. But first off, if I copy paste this into Canva, inside of Canva, it gives me options to crop, but it also gives me options to, to, uh, uh, to basically remove the background and so on and so forth. And you can use that to your advantage. First off, I got to paste the image. Now here, if we go, if you rotate this quite slightly, notice that right now it's starting to be a little bit of a front, right, front page. And we can zoom out. And you can actually make this a little bit bigger by expanding it so that it can take the form. Now maybe I need to rotate it a little bit like this. And I think that right now it is pretty good. And this can be a book cover or a ebook cover for you, right? And you can see that, uh, I haven't done anything really. Just, uh, took that book and just slightly placed it like this. And notice that right now you have a ready book cover. This is a hack inside of Canva that you can utilize uh, to your advantage. Uh, or you can just ask it to generate the base image and you can type in whatever you want to type in here, right? But the bottom line is it gives you inspiration, right? It shows you the way how to create a book. And, Trust me, if I really was into this business of generating book covers, I just don't have the time for it because you cannot be in 10 places at one time. You have to obviously be at one place at one time. Uh, I cannot focus on making courses on my agency and everything at once. So I have to focus on uh, w- one or two things at the most, right? And so here, this is it. Now, let me show you. I want to say generate a empty 3D ebook or book mockup on a table from bird's eye angle. Bird's eye is basically as if you're looking at the book from the top. So imagine the table is flat, the book is on top of it, and you're like a drone. You're on top of everything looking at them from the top. That's what we call drone view. And the reason why I'm saying it is because inside of Canva, these are in high demand. These drone view designs like this are in high demand because people use them, and they can just take this, for example, this design, let's say, I like it, Galaxy's book design, and if I click on the share icon, 
If I click the download button, I can come now to the other design in Canva and I can just simply drag this to on top of this one like this. Let me show you if I drag it on top and notice what's going to happen right now. I can place it on top of this, just slightly reduce the transparency of it. Okay, Canva needs to cooperate with us. And if you place it, now all, all, you, all you need to do is to just resize it to fit. There you go. I can just crop it from here a little bit. And there you go. You can see that it looks, now it looks legit. And I can just a little bit from the other side as well. You can zoom in for extra precision to eliminate that uh, that space. And then you can just come here to the transparency and probably reduce it down to just 90 or something smaller, right? And you can just zoom out. And right now, it looks like you have a mock-up of a book, right? And you can use this for marketing and so on and so forth. And those are really needed. Now, Chad DPT obviously is already on the move, creating that for us. Now, this is not the best that you can get, but this is also something that people might be interested to get, you know. So you just have to keep prompting and prompting and prompting until you get what you are looking for. So this is it when it comes to this lecture about t about mock-up design for books. I'll see you in the next lecture in which I'm going to show you how you can utilize the power of DALI 3 to help assist you when it comes to social media creatives. Stay tuned for it. Passing it comes in the wishing you the best and signing out.